Apparently I live under a rock because I just discovered that you can make ice cream without an ice cream maker. So obviously that's what we're doing today because it's summer and it's ice cream. I am sitting because it's the only way I can figure out how to make the frame work with the table and my face. So what we need to make ice cream at home are a couple bags, a big one and a small one. We need three cups of ice and we need some table salt and we need some vanilla and we need a cup of half and half cream and we need some sugar. Now let's ice cream. The first thing that we do is we open up our little bag. This might be more difficult than I was expecting. We need two tablespoons of sugar. And we need half a teaspoon of vanilla. This was the smartest idea. We pour the cream in. all the air. It's gonna be ice cream. And then in the second bag, we put the ice and a third of a cup of salt. That's a lot of salt. And then we stick this bag inside this bag and we seal get rid of some of the air and we seal it again. We shake the bag for seven to ten minutes. Oh man. One word of warning, this is very cold on the hands. So prepare yourselves for that. been seven minutes and my arms are tired so I'm gonna quit now because it does feel firm which was the goal so I'm going to go get a spoon so I can try it and see if it was actually worth all the effort Spoon! it looks like ice cream and it tastes like ice cream yay now I'm gonna try some other flavors The next one I'm going to try is a lemon one because I think that lemon ice cream is underrated and I haven't had it enough, so I'm just gonna make my own. So someone said to use a few drops of lemon extract, so I am going to do an eighth of a teaspoon, two tablespoons of sugar, I'm just gonna use the same bag from last time because it's not really dirty. Three cups of ice. A not very specific third of a cup of table salt. And I don't feel like shaking this again, so Brady can do it. Yes, it's your turn. My arms are sore your turn. If you want ice cream, you're gonna have to do it. I would add a little bit more lemon. For my last attempt at ice cream, I'm going to try a mint chocolate chip one. We have one cup of 
half and half cream, two tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to try a quarter teaspoon of peppermint. And I'm going to add some chocolate chips, half a cup. My bag was leaking a little bit last time, I'm going to have a second bag. Ta-da! Wait! There you go! Okay, Brainy, if you're going to complain about it that much, just give it back. Good enough. See if it tastes any good. Probably doesn't need that many chocolate chips, but chocolate chips are always a win. So I think if you're making homemade ice cream in this fashion, don't expect the texture to be exactly the same. It's a little little icy and a little grainy, but it still tastes really good. Play with the flavorings a little bit because I probably would add more lemon extract next time that I use it. So I'm going to say use a quarter teaspoon of lemon extract instead of the, I probably used an eighth. So that was successful. I made ice cream in my basement. And now that you've eaten all that ice cream, maybe it's time to check out a workout video, but only after you have also subscribed to the channel. And if you want to know more about what this channel is all about, check out the links in the description. I have a blog, an Instagram, a Ko-fi page, and all sorts of fun stuff. I will see you soon.